Hello, you all come to solve this math problem, which is 4 power of 1 over square root of x plus 16 power of 1 over square root of x is equals to 64 power of 1 over square root of x. To find the value of x from this equation. Now, from this, our powers, which is 1 over square root of x, is common. So, we'll start by letting u is equal to 1 over square root of x then it will be 4 power of u plus 16 power of u is equal to 64 power of u then in the next step we make this equation to have same base of 4 so it will be 4 power of u plus 16 is same as 4 square then bracket power of u is equal to 64 is same as 4 power of 3 then bracket power of u then in the next step we make the same in this equation to have the same exponent of 4 power of u so it will be 4 power of u plus we take this power of u inside the bracket power of 2 outside the bracket so it will be 4 power of u bracket power of 2 outside the bracket is equal to we take power of u inside power of 3 outside the bracket so it will be 4 power of u bracket power of 3. Then in the next step, now in here 4 power of u is common. So we will let, let's say t is equal to 4 power of u. So it will be t then plus t square is equal to t power of 3. Then in the next step, we take this t square into the right side and t into the right side so it will be this t power 3 minus t square then minus t is equal to 0 then from here t is common so we'll take t out of bracket t power 3 divided by t is t square negative t square divided by t is negative t negative t divided by t is negative 1 bracket is equal to 0 then from here we have two solutions whereas this is the first solution which is t is equal to zero and this is the second solution t square minus t minus one is equal to zero now from here we already get the value of t to find the value of t from this quadratic equation we'll use quadratic formula to find the value of t which is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a whereas a is equal to coefficient of t square is 1 and b is equal to coefficient of t is negative 1 and c is equal to constant is negative 1 then it will be t is equal to negative b is negative 1 then plus or minus square root b square it will be negative 1 bracket square then minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 1 then over 2 times a is 1 then it will be t is equal to negative and negative 1 it will be positive 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 square it is positive 1 negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 it is positive 4 then over this time this is 2 then it will be t is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of this plus this is 5 over 2 then from here we have two solutions because of plus or minus whereas the first solution of t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and the second solution is t is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 then we recall for this t before we let t it is 4 power of u so from t is equal to 4 power of u whereas 4 power of any number is greater than 0 so let's compare this 4 power of u with this first solution which is equal to 0 so 4 power of u is it equal to 0 because 4 power of u it is t 
now this is greater than 0 and is not equal to 0 so this solution is rejected then from here 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 this is less than 0 but 4 power of u is greater than 0 so also this solution is rejected so this is greater than 0 and this 4 power of u is greater than 0 so we we'll compare 4 power of u is equal to this which is 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 then in the next step to find the value of u we'll apply log in both sides so it will be log of 4 power of u is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 then in the next step this power of u will move to the base so it will be u log of 4 is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 from here because this power 4 it moves to the base so it will be u log of 4 then log of this which is golden ratio so from this step we we'll divide by log of 4 in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be u is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 then bracket over log of 4 then from here this u but we are supposed to find the value of x then we recall again before we let u is equal to u is equals to 1 over square root of x so from u is 1 over square root of x so we we'll substitute this into here so it will be 1 over square root of x is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 then bracket over log of this 4 then in the next step will it will do reciprocal so this square root of x it will be in the numerator and one in the denominator so it will be square root of x is equal to also in here in the it will be reciprocal to be log of 4 in the numerator over log log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 in the denominator then to find the value of x will will square in both sides so this square root will cancel with square then it will be x is equal to from this log of 4 to the base of 2 it will be log log 4 4 is 2 power of 2 so it will be log of 2 power of 2 whereas this power of 2 it will move to the base so it will be 2 log of 2 then over log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 then bracket then all this into bracket then it will be x is equal to we take this square inside the bracket so it will be 2 square 2 square which is 4 then times log of 2 square log of 2 it is 0 0.301 then square over log of this which is golden ratio so it will be log of golden ratio it is 1.618 now from log of 1.618 it is 0 0.209 then square of square of this log so it will be square then it will be x is equal to 4 then times 0 0.301 square it is 0 0.0906 then over 0 0.209 square it is 0 0.0437 then it will be x is equal to this 4 then times 0 0.0906 divided by 0 0.437 it is 2.0732 
then it will be x is equal to 4 times 2.0732 it is 8.2929 therefore this is the final answer for the value of x in this our problem 8.2929 thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye